This week, a return favorite, Molex, Lady Ada, what is the I on NPI this week brought to you by DigiKey? Okay, this week we're featuring Molex again, known for uh, great cables, great connectors, um, and they have put together a first robotic competition cable kit specifically for people doing first robotics, but hey, secret between you, me, and the rest of the internet. This is actually a pretty good deal on a whole bunch of cables uh, that can be used for any kind of robotics or mechatronics or sensor or sensing or interfacing projects. It doesn't have to, you know, you can buy it even if you're not in first, but if you are in first, I think it's going to be very handy. Um, so I thought this was a, a nice partnership uh, and a good way for Molex to um, help out kids doing first robotics. Okay. So uh, this is the SL Modular Connectors and Cables Kit. Um, it's a box that is full of like like 20 different cables um, that are the kind of common SL modular, easy plug, 2.54 millimeter pitch, 0.1 inch pitch connectors. Um, there's, I'll show the, the cable kit, but there's sockets and plugs. Um, and what I thought was nice about this was uh, Molex um, also sponsors a bunch of first robotics teams and they have resources um, available, so uh, check it out. Um, they sponsor like seven teams, and they have documentation on how to use these cables and connectors. And um, uh, you know, for the robots that I've built and worked on, and I, I didn't, I didn't work on first robotics. I'm a little too old for that. But um, at school, we did have a, like a mini robotics club. And one thing I learned really quickly is that you can have the best code and the most like machined hardware and the strongest motors, but if you have like one misconnected cable. Um, your entire robot doesn't work. And uh, the vibration and motion and twisting of robotics is really tough on cables. And so you wanna have like really solid, well-connected sensors, motors, power supplies, batteries, et cetera, um, so that you don't end up in competition and then like everything breaks because something came loose. Um, so uh, they're using the SL modular kit, which I like, it has this little latching uh, connector option. Um, the current capability of the connector is three amps, which is great. The pitch is 0.1 inch, which is also really great. It's very easy to use. You can quickly prototype with headers and, and off the shelf cables and then you know, upgrade to these um, finished cables uh, with latches when you're done. Um, it's good for signal and some low power. And we do have a video on crimping. And so, you know, traditionally, if people were going to make custom cables, at least when I grew up, like, it was like, oh, well, you get a crimper and you get some wire and you make your own cables by, you just buy like a hundred connectors and you just sit down and you crimp them. Um, but the problem is, is that, um, you know, as I've gotten older, it's like, I want to crimp less because crimping is actually really, really hard. Um, you know, crimping with, um, Needle nose pliers is kind of the first thing people do, and it's like, you know, maybe one out of like five end up working really well. And then if you get like the proper hand crimp tool, um, that'll get you farther, but you're still gonna probably only have like two thirds of your crimps work out correctly. And like, if you don't get it right the first time, you can't like recrimp, you have to kind of start over. And sometimes you have to even uh, recut and restrip the wire. Re crimping. Nothing yeah, worse really than recrimping. Re so buying pre crimped cables is the way to go. In fact, um, here at Adafruit, we have, you know, not for the SL Molex kits, but we have like some basic premium header kits where you get pre-crimped raw wires and you get housings that you plug the wires into. And that's what you've got in this Molex kit as well. Now, some cables that they pre-made, um, they have a bunch of different lengths. Each one's documented in the data sheet. Um, let's check it out. There's different lengths and they're all like wired with like these nice um, zip tie um, bindings. Uh, there's just a bunch of different... Uh, items. I mean, you can you can see here. There's like 20 different items in the kit. So they have like a little bit of everything, um, but altogether it's enough to get a small robot going. Like you might need two or three boxes for a larger robot, but for like a small Lego-ish, you know, desktop bot, you know, the size of like a small cat or something, um, which is a, an official robot size, uh, this kit will work great. And All it's right. in stock at Digikey. And uh, as it goes in the chat, crimping ain't easy. So do check do it do out it. in DigiKey. And we have a uh, little video we're gonna show. We're gonna video and they can also show, the video is, is quite long, so we're just gonna show like a minute and a half and then I'll show what's in the box after. Let's jump in and get started talking about the FIRST Robotics programs, the products that we work with to try to help students. So here at Molex, we wanted to find a way that we could make it easier for teams to use our connectors and build their robots 
not only prototype, but learn more about how to use our connector systems and do it efficiently and faster. And we started, so what we did was we talked to a lot of different teams out there and we said, what are the challenges that you run into when trying to build cable assemblies? And what we were told is, is most teams are trying to use a hand tool to cut raw wire, crimp and poke those cable assemblies into the, the housings and then it's still a connection system. And so we started talking to teams about what are the most common connectors they use. And one of them that they selected was the XL connector system. And that's the one that we decided to use for our kits that we offer. Alan, could you tell me a little bit about how, you know, why teams, why it's so popular for teams to use the SL connector system? So the SL connector system uses 2.54 millimeter uh, pitch, and that complies with the first robotics guidelines. Uh, in addition, one of the more common gauges for the um, wires is 22 gauge, and uh, it can go as small as 30 gauge. So this is one of those rare connector systems that has a very wide range of uh, gauges. Um, and when I say gauge, I'm talking about the uh, American wire gauge standard, um, AWG. Uh, we Okay, and you wanted to uh, show this off? Yes, please go to the overhead. Okay, so this is what you get, SL modular connector and cable kit. Uh, first Robotics branded, um, and then you go to their website for more info. And I did open the bag, so like these all came in bags that I, yeah. I have opened. So they don't actually. This come is like loose. a cooking show. We did some preparation yeah. before the show. Um, so you've got some nice, uh, you know, three-pin extender cables here. Um, you've got also, like I said, some raw cables. These have sockets and plugs, and these are like really nice. These are like really nice cramps. Like I can just kind of tell by feeling them. Like these are solid crimpy pieces and then these are the um, SL modular uh, uh, housings that you can plug the uh, cables into. They do give you some crimp um, ends if you want it to go down that path, which I don't recommend. Um, a bunch of these extender cables. So I think it's like, you know, once you've got your, your cable going, if you need to extend it a bunch. Um, extenders, another longer raw version, another raw version. So like two shorter ones and one longer one a bunch of just like power cable um, and then uh, some more housings and then one like cut wire. So there's like, oh, sorry, no, this is a very short extender cable. So um, a bunch of different options in here. Don't forget, you can cut and solder these wires. Like it's easier to cut um, and solder and then heat shrink cables than trying to recrimp wire. So that's what I recommend. But this is like a good little like sensor servo extender kit. Um, nice durable wires, nice uh, thick gauges, um, and they all have um, this nice uh, um, zip tie uh, keeping the cables together. But you can always cut it if you want to like spread the, the wires out. All right, and that is this week's INMPI. Hi, INMPI.